guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get this Ice Queen Halloween tutorial. This is the first of my Halloween tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to get this super cool Ice Queen makeup look. This is the first video once again. I will have videos twice a week for Halloween so if you want to see how to become an Ice Queen then just please keep on watching. So first I'm going to take the 35B palette by Morphe and I'm just going to set my primer using this nice nude shade here. I already put down a eyelid primer just to make sure all my eyeshadows are locked and loaded for the rest of the whole night. Then I'm going to go in with this blue shade here and I'm going to start by focusing that into my crease. For this look we're going to do a nice halo eye and we want it to be super blended. Blues take a little bit of time to blend so you just want to take your time, go a little by little and blending. I'm going to go back and forth between adding color and then going back and forth with a clean brush to blend it. Now going in with the Neptune from Makeup Geek, I'm going to start deepening out the inner and the outer corner and then connecting it in the center. This is going to be the base for our halo eye. So I'm just going to tap on with a flat brush and a more fluffy brush going back and forth by adding more color on the inner and outer and blending it out. So it's super seamless and not harsh at all. Then just to deepen out the inner and outer corner, we're going to take this palette by Urban Decay and it's the Urban Decay and Bosque Out palette. And we're going to take that deep navy shade and we're just going to go in and intensify that outer corner and inner corner like we did before. Same thing adding a little bit and blending it out until we get our desired shade. Then going with the Moonchild palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to take the shade Blue Moon and I'm going to spray that a little bit with some Fix Plus and I'm just going to put that onto the center of the eyelid. I wanted this to be a really focused iridescent blue shade so that's what we're doing by adding it wet. Then I'm just going to go in and blend out the edges with the same blue shade. Then just going back through, I'm going to intensify the shimmeriness with my finger and tap it on. Then taking a NYX liquid eyeliner in this blue shade, I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner with this. It's okay that you can't really see it, we kind of just wanted to really emphasize the shape of the eye, make it very winged. Then taking some eyelash glue, I'm going to put this on the center of the eyelid because we're going to go back in with some glitter from Jazzy Glitters on Etsy. I will link the exact glitter that I use down below in the description bar. But it's a really nice glitter that has different size hexagons and circles and it's a nice iridescent bluish pink sh glitter which really added to the look and I thought it made it look super icy. Off camera, I'm going to put on the Kara number 702 eyelashes and then I'm just going to take some white mascara and coat them to get this really nice white frosted lashes look and I will be right back. For the foundation, I'm going to take the LA Pro Glow Concealer and Foundation in the shade White. And I'm just going to blend this all over my face. You can use a white cream base or cream makeup for this. Also, make sure you blend it to where your shirt is ending. I blend it down to my neck and a little bit on my chest. And I wish I would have blended it on my arms too because I did wear a sleeveless top for this. But depending on what you're wearing depends on where you would bring this. If I would do this look again, I would blend it on my chest and then just wear a long sleeve white top. And I'm just going to go back and blend this until it is as seamless as possible. Then taking some more of that, I'm going to put it underneath of my eyes and just conceal underneath my eyes with more of the white just to make sure it's a very seamless white base. Also, once again, just blend it until it looks very, very seamless. Whites are tricky and can be a little patchy. Now going in with some translucent powder, I'm just going to set this all over my face just to make sure that we don't have any movement of the cream powder and that everything we put on top will blend very nicely and seamlessly. Now for contour for this look, we're going to take this blue shade here and we're just going to focus it into our hollowed out cheekbones, around our forehead, and a little bit on our jawline. This is just going to help give some dimension to our face, but it's still going to keep it in the realm of the icy and the blue tone since we are an ice queen. Then I'm just going to take some of the electric jumbo pencil from NYX and put it underneath my eyes and go back over it with the same Makeup Keep eyeshadow that we used before. Then taking the navy shade from the Basquiat and Urban Decay palette, I'm just going to smoke out that light blue shade until we have very smoky under eyes. Then taking Blue Moon and Bloom Ice mixed together from the Anastasia Moonchild palette, I'm going to use that on my brow bone inner corner as well as on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to put those. I just want to make a really intensified iridescent blue glow to the look which really added to the effect of being an ice queen and I loved how it made the look turn out. <laughs> Now 
Now going with the Ofra and Beverly Hills highlight wheel, I'm going to take the white shade and just intensify the tops of the highlight just so it is super, super icy. Now I'm going to spray myself with setting spray and while it's still wet, I'm going to take some of that iridescent glitter that we put on our eyelids and I'm going to stick it to the highlight points of my face. This is just really going to add more to the iridescent highlight into the very icy, like iridescent ethereal glow of an ice queen. Since there's not really ice queens out there, I wanted to take my own interpretation and make it very iridescent and super glowy and I really loved how the look turned out. I'm just going to add some setting spray after to make sure we are locked in place and that all of the powders are set and good. Then I went through and I took some snowflake shaped glitter from Jazzy Glitters again which I will have linked in the description as well and I went and put it on certain spots of my face to focus on the glitter so we have some on the nose the forehead and everything now taking the lip palette by ABH I'm gonna mix a little bit of the white and a little bit of the blue and together I'm gonna make a custom like periwinkle blue lip shade and sorry I'm out of the frame for this I wasn't paying attention now to go over top in the center, I'm going to take an iridescent white liquid lip from AOA Beauty, which I'll link this in the description box down below as well. And I'm just going to put that in the center of the lips to add a nice iridescent like shine just to add to the overall look. And here is the completed makeup look. And now just to finish off the look, I'm going to apply some white contacts and a white wig as well as our Ice Queen crown that I made out of hot glue. And here is our completed Ice Queen makeup look. Thank you guys for watching. This is the first of my Halloween tutorials, like I said. If you really enjoyed this video and want to see more of which I have to come, please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday, and I will be posting twice a week the whole month of October. Have a great day. Bye!